This is Lene the Bargain Diva. Um, I did a video for you guys this morning, a review, not a haul, like my your normal normal blah, blah, videos, and it was too long. So I had to redo it, and I'm going to try to keep it under eight minutes so that I'll be able to put a little bit at the beginning, a little bit at the end, and get it all squished into 10 minutes. So if I keep looking down, I'm looking at my iPhone because it has the timer going. Anyway, let's start the review. Um, I've been buying so much stuff over the last couple of months that I've just basically been doing hauls. I have not been doing any reviews. So I am going to do a review today of some of the products that I have been purchasing. And I will start off with three um, inexpensive mascaras. Um, and two of them I listed in one of my hauls and the other one I just actually got last night. So it's not listed. The first one is the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. And this is in very black. All of my mascaras will be very black um, because that's the only color that I wear. And this is supposed to lengthen your eyelashes. I wore this once and it did give my eyelashes a little bit of length. But I already have sort of kind of long eyelashes. So um, if you don't have long eyelashes and that's the desired look that you're going for... This is a good mascara and it was only $1.99 from Walgreens. The next one is Mega Volume Mascara from Wet n Wild. Um, it's in a yellow tube and it's in very black as well. And this is supposed to give you Mega Volume. It does do that. I've worn this one about three or four times and it does give you Mega Volume. So this is a good one if you're looking for volume. And this last one is LA Colors Perfect Curve. And I wanted to actually show you guys the wand that this comes with. This is the wand. And see how it's curved? Now, this claims to, and I'm reading right off the package, volumize, curl, and separate lashes to give you the perfect look. I am actually wearing that today. And I can honestly say that it did curl, separate, and give my eyelashes a bit of volume. And it was only $2 at the general dollar or dollar general. Um, so this is a go-to for me. This is this is good if you want to try that. Um, as you guys know, I have started um, from my hauls. You know that I've started my collection of sinful colors. Um, and right now I'm doing the shadows and the lip glosses. I have all of the shades, six except one. I think they make six shades, six and a half, five. Um, they make 72 lip gloss colors, and I have five of those. Um, I purchased these from my local beauty supply store. They're only $1.99, um, and they do have all 72 colors, so I will be getting them from the, getting mine from the dollar, I'm sorry, the beauty supply store, since they're only $1.99. I'm not going to go at one time and get it, unless I hit the lottery, but um, I'll buy them, you know, bit by bit. This first color is Espresso, and it's 2230, number 2230 Espresso, and it's like a brown color. I've tried all of them on. They're not sticky, and I did wear one of them all day, and I believe I only had to touch up once. So, they're long-lasting as well. The next one is Moonbeam, number 2231, and it's like a, maybe a, put you in the mind of a nude color. The next one is Goddess, and it's a pink color, and it's number 226. The next one is Champagne, and of course it's a champagne color, and it's number 2229. And I'm sorry in advance if the lighting is sucky. Guys, I'm in my closet. I do some of my videos in the bathroom and some of them in the closet. I'm in the closet right now because it's quieter and I'm doing a review. So I'm in the closet um, and I do apologize for the junk that you guys see around. My closet is forever junky. And the last one I have is Lilac Mist and it is number 2222 and it's a purple color. All of these are very pretty. Um, I went ahead and I ordered three brushes from Coastal Scents. Um, a lot of guys, um, people on YouTube, uh, the gurus and different makeup um, people who do makeup tutorials 
uh, talk about Coastal Scents palettes and brushes. So I went ahead and I bought three. I have the IB119, which is a deluxe crease brush. I did not use, I've used all three of them. I did not use this brush as a, as a crease brush. I used it as a blender and it did exactly what I wanted it to do. The bristles are very soft and they don't stick you. This next brush, and it's still a little bit dirty from my review this morning that did not go through, is the C139 Stiff Tapered Crease Brush. And um, it's it's a crease brush. I use it in my crease. Um, it's a crease brush and it's tapered off and it's not flimsy. Um, holds a lot of pigment and it doesn't stick you. The bristles doesn't don't stick it either. And this one is a pencil brush. I cannot tell you the number because it's not written on here and I forgot. But um, it is a Italian Badger. I do know that. I think it's the Italian Badger small pencil brush. Um, and it's used for the very outer edge of your eye, the V part to, you know, put the pigment in there. Not sticky and it does the job just right. And none of those were over $4. I believe they were all $2 and some change. Um, my next uh, product is the LA Colors 5 Palette Wine and Rose Palette. Um, I actually am wearing this color today on my eyes. You probably can't see because of the lighting. But the, the color that I'm wearing is the exact same color as my shirt. Um, I love LA Colors. They're very pigmented. If you use some of the colors with like some of the other palettes like I have Tropical and Paradise and a few others but if you use them with the Jumbo uh, NYX Milk Pencil or a white base the colors just stand out so well um, this is a, a pretty palette um, I recommend LA Colors it's not very expensive I either get mine from my hold on let me do a time check two minutes okay I either get mine from the dollar store or from eBay I'm gonna put the link in the sidebar here is one of the simple colors that I have um, I have 12 of them now this is tickle me um, the simple colors are very long-lasting they're very vibrant I'm gonna do a quick swatch on my finger I don't know if y'all can see that but it's very pigmented maybe if I put it there Um, so I would recommend Simple Colors as well. Um, I talked about CoverGirl Queen Collection, their foundation. Um, this is Warm Caramel Q530. This is the color that I use. This is so great for women with color. Women of color or women with um, a darker skin complexion. This is very good. It's a very good product. It's not heavy and it... it does what it's supposed to do my very last and all of those I would recommend you buying my very last item and I have 56 seconds so if I'm going fast I'm sorry is the Rimmel fix plus primer this sucks I should have listened to the review that I listed that I watched on YouTube when the girl said that this sucked and she gave it a middle finger up um it creases after an hour maybe two hours for me it did I don't have oily eyelids I can put on makeup uh, eyeshadow without primer and it does not crease this creased so I use this if I'm in the bathroom playing and I'm trying to create a look this is the only thing that I use this for but it may work for other people I got it from CVS for about seven bucks um and that's it you guys I will put the information in the sidebar I am so sorry that I rushed but um, this is the second time like I said that I did this video um, so I'll put the information in the sidebar. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great one.